Hello guys, good morning and welcome to another vlog. you're wondering why I look a bit weird it's because I'm going to have my eyebrows done so I haven't done anything to my eyebrows and I've dyed my hair this lovely warm uh like chocolate orange not chocolate orange but you know like an orangey color and I've got these like ashy gray remnants of eyebrows <laughs> but don't worry all will be fixed shortly so it is currently about um half nine in the morning i'm going to meet my friend anastasia and we are popping into town so i can get my brows done at benefit um i always go to benefit for my brows because they just do them nicely and i just like the way they do it it is such a lovely day it's so sunny but so cold i think is that actually ice on the windscreen no i think it might just be condensation but it's freezing i've literally got my scarf and a big high neck jumper on and black tights i mean it's officially autumn okay <laughs> i don't want to hear it but yeah so i am literally shivering i'm gonna try and warm the car up as fast as i can and i'm gonna leave and head to anastasia's house first and then pop into town and then i think we're going for lunch after probably bistro pierre because it's her favorite but yes i will show you what we get up to the rough appearance i didn't vlog much earlier tam was really busy and um we just looked around the shops so i will show you what i bought tomorrow probably i didn't buy a lot literally like one jumper and then a couple of bits and bobs in case anyone was wondering ari skin since my acne video still going <laughs> when i get back to nottingham i'm gonna go see the doctor again because i need more of um my face cream anyway so i'm gonna ask if maybe antibiotics should be a good shout again because last time it was like this i went on antibiotics and they cleared it so i mean we'll see what he thinks anyway but it's always worth going to your doctors and asking but yeah i'm actually feeling very nervous because tomorrow i am doing a presentation at my dad's school uh so my dad's school and the school i used to go to my dad's a teacher um, they've just bought in a new GCSE which is food and nutrition and what am I studying? Dietetics. So they've asked me to come and talk about different diseases and uh, my experience and stuff like that and it's year 10 and 11 so tough crowd. Um, I've made a little presentation but I'm just a bit nervous so I've been practicing that and going through that uh, to check it was long enough or short enough so yeah wish me luck and also I've got to leave the house at 8 tomorrow so I'm going to have to be up pretty early i'm gonna have to get up at like six o'clock not looking forward to the early morning but hopefully it'll go okay and it'll all be over by like 11 o'clock so i'll have to just keep remembering that i need to paint my nails because they look really scabby oh my gosh they've like chipped loads so i'm just gonna do that tonight i think i'm watching gps behind closed doors because i'm obsessed with this program and i'm just chilling really so yeah, that's my exciting evening. That's why, why I didn't vlog much in time because it was really busy and then can't really vlog over lunch because we were in a restaurant. But I got some cute clips and we went to pick Anastasia's dog up from the dog groomer as well, Minty. She's so cute. So there's some cute clips of her. But yeah, so I will fill you in if I do anything else. Really exciting, like decide to paint my nails. But apart from that, I will catch up with you tomorrow. Guys, it's dark. It's like really dark when i started getting up in the hospital it was a bit dark but this is like pitch black so it's like 20 past six so i'm just having a cup of tea and a little yogurt because i don't think i can stomach my breakfast just yet 
and I'm waiting for it to get lighter hopefully so I can do my makeup in a bit but um, it's not looking good because it's very very dark I'll have to have a look what time the sunrise is it did indeed brighten up in the end so I managed to get my makeup done it actually looks to be a really lovely day like quite sunny quite cold um, I actually like the cold weather it's all right if I'm all wrapped up so I'm gonna put my big coat on and I'm just having my breakfast. I just thought, by the way, if you wanna know what I'm wearing on a daily basis, I don't know who would wanna know that, but in case you do, I have set up an Instagram. I'll put the handle on screen, but it is at what this student wears. Well, I'm a student and I'm posting what I wear. So if that's something you'd be into, then go ahead and give me a follow. But yes, I'm all ready anyway. I always feel like a teacher in these glasses anyway. So very apt. The brows are looking good. I just filled them in with um, precisely my brow pencil to get the hairs at the front because they're a bit short and to get the hairs at the end and then give me brow and I love them. Honestly, having my eyebrows done makes me want to have them done regularly, but I just know I won't because it's so expensive and I literally always forget. <laughs> but yes, I'm all ready. I'm just wearing my work trousers that you've seen a million times and my high neck jumper because I have a feeling it's gonna be freezing today. So I'm gonna chuck my big like duvet coat on and hope that's warm enough. But yeah, I'm still really nervous, but hopefully it goes well. So I will let you know. So I've got to the school. I'm like ridiculously early, like I always am, but I uh, didn't know what the traffic was going to be like. Basically, the school is down the road, but schools always have a lot of traffic. So I wasn't sure. So I'm now like 25 minutes early, but I've messaged my dad. He's going to come and meet me when he gets here. Because like I said, this is the school he works at and he's the one who put me up for doing the presentation so yeah anyway i'm looking forward to it i think i'm very nervous so i'm gonna go get set up and wait for my dad and i will chat to you after i'm done i am all done and i just popped into mini tesco to get some food i'm back home now i said briefly in tesco but i think the talk went well i'm really happy um the second time was definitely better as to be expected but I think they enjoyed it. They're like 16, so how much do they enjoy school in general? But they were all very engaged. They did the activity. But now I think I'm gonna pop around and have a cup of tea. Well, hopefully they'll be in. Um, my nan, I'm hoping she'll be in so I can pop around and have a cup of tea with her, fill her in on how it went because I know she worries and I've also run out of ketchup so I think she has a bottle there for me to take back to uni so I might steal that so I can have eggs on toast because I cannot have eggs on toast without ketchup. So yeah, I'm just heading around to my nan's and I will catch up with you later. Hello guys, I'm back now. I've just had my lunch. As you can see, I had a cup of tea around at my nan's and managed to nab some ketchup. So I had that with my eggs on toast i'm just watching old episodes of super size versus super skinny and i used to watch this program all the time my mum and i used to watch it just for entertainment before i was into nutrition and dietetics but i'm really interested to know i would love you to comment down below what your opinions on this program are because i'm so torn because the results that come from it seem to be good because the people with eating disorders tend to gain weight and the people who are obese tend to lose weight. But ethically, it's a bit of a minefield really. And I just, I just love to know your opinions on it because for me, I love watching it superficially. I used to, and now watching it as a dietitian, it makes me feel a bit weird because um, you're effectively stuffing these severely anorexic malnourished people with all this food and then you're starving the people with obesity which we would never recommend for those with obesity it's always you know aim for one to two pounds loss a week calorie deficit 600 increased physical activity so is this a healthy way to think about it either physically healthy or mentally healthy I don't know. I'm a bit torn, to be honest. I enjoy the program superficially, but it just got me thinking, that's all. Whether you're into nutrition or not, if you've watched the program, please leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think of it. Good morning, guys. I've just got ready for the day. I had an email this morning saying my parcel has come into Wilco. 
so I will pick that up and then I will show you all what I bought but I think I'm also gonna pop to Subway and get a Subway salad because there's no food in the house basically I've just been buying food as I want it uh, so there's not a lot of like fresh salad and stuff so I'm better off just buying a salad rather than ending up having like toast or something in the house so yeah I think I'm gonna go buy a salad and this evening I'm going out for a meal, it's a church fundraiser for my nan's church, I'm not in a church myself but it's for my nan so we're supporting you know. So my best friend Anastasia is coming along, seen a lot of her this week which is fab, we're thinking we might go for a drink after as well but not sure, it depends how much we drink in the restaurant to be honest because she has work in the morning but yes I've pre-ordered so I think I'm having soup of the day and steak and chips so health wise not great but taste wise yum i'm gonna pop some shoes and a jacket on i don't know how warm it is i think it's quite warm it said 17 degrees but you know when you can't really figure out how warm or cold that is i think it's quite warm but it's very sunny anyway so it's a lovely day so i'm gonna pop my shoes on pop a jacket on and drive down to Nice, pick up my Wilco stuff and then pick up a Subway salad. I think that sounds like a good plan. And then I need to come back and do some washing. Need to check if what's in the area is dry so I can put another load in. Basically just really exciting stuff, you know. So um, yeah, come along with me if you can bear that level of boredom. <laughs> So that was quite the ordeal. Um, all my Wilco stuff came in like the biggest box imaginable. It wasn't heavy, but it was very cumbersome. So obviously I couldn't vlog holding that, but I managed to get to my car and break up the box and chuck it in a bin somewhere <laughs> and separate all the pieces. But actually one of the throws that I ordered, really weird because I paid 20 pound for it. It was like a velvet throw. £20 for it and then when I got that I saw another throw that I liked that was £10 so I thought oh I'll do a little swap which was already a bit of a faff because everything came in a big box so I had to like open the box take the other throw out and then the the woman scanned it and said oh did you pay £2 for this throw and I was like um no that was £20. Oh uh, yeah she believed she saw my receipt so obviously she believed me because I mean that is what I paid it doesn't matter if that's not what it cost that's what I paid so uh, she gave me the £10 re refund because the other one I bought was uh, £10. But yeah, a bit odd. Um, I mean, if I knew if it was £2, I probably would have kept it. But never mind. Um, I will show you what I bought anyway. So the throw I went for in the end, I've actually got in beige as well. But I bought it in grey. What's it called? It's called like a waffle throw. It's upside down. That's unhelpful. It's yeah waffle throw and honestly these are the softest things and this was 16 pound reduced to 10 so i got it for 10 pound and i love it it will go a lot better than the beige one with my room and i might stick the beige one on the sofa downstairs just so the girls and i have a throw that we can have on the sofa in case we get cold i guess <laughs> so it won't go to waste don't worry but this one will replace that one on the end of my bed i think then I got these two rose gold, they're exactly the same, uh, pen pots. Uh, I think these will be really cute. I wanted one for my makeup brushes and one for my actual pens and like highlighters and stuff to have on my desk. And along with those I got, I don't look great. Right. <laughs> along with those I got a like desk tidy in the same colour. I just thought it went really well. I'm not sure what I'm going to put in here. I might put highlighters in this one actually because it's a bit wider and then stick I've got some uh, paper clips and stuff like that to stick in here so yeah I'm excited my desk is coming together that was sort of the bit of my room that I haven't done much with so um yeah I'm just trying to pick up some bits to make that a bit more organized motivate me to do that studying you know I also bought a lamp from Wilco, hence the big box. I will insert a picture here, but I don't actually want to take it out of the box because I'm going to set it up in my room at uni, which is risky because then if I don't like it, well, I suppose I can return it to any Wilco. So yeah, it'll be fine actually, but I'm not going to take it out of the box, but I will put a picture in so you can see the one I bought. It is just rose gold with a white shade. So yeah, I really like it. And then I went into Morrison's. I feel like this was quite a defining moment for me 
because once I get my mind set on something, I am doing it and nothing can change my mind. And I sat and I ate that wrap in Subway and I thought, you know, I'm still hungry. I want to go to Morrison's and I want to treat myself as if I deserve a treat. I want to treat myself to a uh, donut and then they only had the donuts in packs and usually I would just go oh I'll just buy the pack and then I'd lie to myself and say oh I'll have one today I'll save one for tomorrow and end up eating them all so I walked away. It wasn't easy but I did it and I walked straight to the tea aisle because what is something sweet that I really really enjoy but doesn't have any bad stuff in it, tea. So I thought if I can't treat myself to a pack of donuts, I will treat myself to some, well, one of my old favorite teas and then two Christmassy sort of teas that I saw that I am absolutely dying to try. So I'm really happy with how that turned out because um, I do feel like I've treated myself, but not in the way that's gonna sabotage my health and my diet. So. The teas I got, anyway, this is the old favourite, the Puka, the Puka teas were two for four pound, they are quite pricey, but um, I was in treat yourself mode, so I got the cleanse, because I know I like this, and the other Puka one I bought was Vanilla Chai, a caffeine free organic lift flushed with cinnamon warmth, and I just thought this sounded so Christmassy, and with the weather getting colder, I'm so excited for flavours like this. I love vanilla, I love chai. So, I mean, I can't not like it really, surely. <laughs> and then the last one I bought was a bit pricey. It was £2.50 for 20 bags. Actually, how much are these? These have got 20 bags in them as well. So these were £2 for 20 bags with the deal. And these were the Taylors of Harrogate. So very posh, never bought Taylors tea before. I think my nan drinks it but uh, spiced apple. If you followed me on Instagram for a while, you will know that my favorite hot drink of all time is the hot spiced apple that they do in, in Costa, I believe. Is it Costa or Starbucks? I can't remember, I haven't had one in so long. I think it's Costa. So um, obviously that's like apple juice, so it's not the best. And this is just flavored tea. So I'm hoping that this will be like a nice alternative to this that I can have at home and I'm really excited about it. It was a bit pricey but do you know what? Spiced apple tea! I'm so excited about it! So yeah that is everything I bought and the lamp which I won't show you but I'm quite excited to be honest that things are coming together for the new house. I've got a lamp now that was one of the things that I wanted that I couldn't find. Um, I've got my throw. I'm so excited to make my bed. And hopefully I'll just be really happy in that room and it'll be really cozy and I'll just love it. So yeah, I'm really excited to go back and organize my room and everything. I'm gonna miss home, obviously, but um, home will always be here, you know, so. So yeah, I've popped, I decided to pop the washing in before I went out so it would be done when I got back. Um, well, not when I got back, it's not done yet, but it'd be done a bit sooner. So I now need to take all the old washing off the area and fold that up. So the excitement continues, but yeah, I will catch up with you in a bit. Oh, see you guys, how cute is that? I've got highlighters from b and and I've got my lush rose gold paper clips from Morrison's that my mum treated me to. And then I'm not sure what I'll put in there, just bits and bobs, but yeah, how cute. So we had a lovely dinner with my nan and her church folks. It was lovely, lovely steak. And now we are in spoons and we have a lovely babies because we are not old, we are sophisticated. What are we? Sophisticated. Sophisticated. Hello guys, so it is now Thursday, the day that I'm supposed to upload this video. All edited and ready to go. It's about 20 minutes long and the last 20 minute long video I uploaded took about seven and a half hours to upload. It's already three o'clock so may well be Friday that this goes up but whatever day it is I hope you enjoyed and please give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe down below if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye!